Hi everyone, welcome back. Now, this is uh, this is a little bit different because what I've got here is um, an Acer Palmatum Sangu Kaku. So the branch structure is really orange and vibrant orange in the in the winter once all the leaves have fallen. Um, this tree, it's the first time I've done this. So this tree um, grew to about five foot so it's about five foot tall and gradually i don't know why the branches started dying off so i cut it back and then they died off a bit more cut it back and i thought it's got some kind of disease i don't know what's happening and i gradually cut it back and back and back over a pro probably a period of about three years and i've ended up with this now this is the first time I've done this and I just want to show you because it's a trunk chop. Now the base is, is it's quite chunky. Um, I don't know how big it is, but uh, it doesn't matter. The reason I was growing it big is to get the base um, as chunky as possible, but unfortunately it started to die back. So I had to try and save it. Um, so I cut it back, cut it back. And it ended up in this with this small stump. Um, but as you probably know, um, and I didn't, because the root structure is pretty strong, um, as soon as you root, as soon as you trunk chop it, um, there's lots of little nodes and, and stuff on the on the bark that will pop because the energy, you know, this was when when did I do this? I did this probably about June, June or July, and it's now October, just start of October. Um, but the energy's got to go somewhere. If you think about it, the, the roots are sending up sap uh, all the way up the trunk, five foot high, to sprout leaves and sprout branches. And actually, once you cut it, it's thinking, well, where, where am I going to go now? So all these little nodes that actually didn't exist like in this form um, at the time started popping, um, which is amazing. Now... I've tried the, the at the very beginning. I didn't have all. I didn't have all this. That didn't even exist. All of a sudden, these two branches just popped up, and that was what what we were dealing with. A trunk with with that. So I thought, what I'll do is I'll I'll just style these branches a little bit, style it out, and um, try and give them a bit of character because. The trunk's coming this way, and I thought if I just get them, give them a bit of character, I can always alter that later down the line. Probably a bit premature, I don't know. Um, but then all this started popping around the edges. Now, the thing that I'm a little bit worried about, and some of these branches, you can see these where the leaf buds are here um, and here. So some of the internodes in between, they're quite long, which isn't what you want for bonsai but we're not there yet we're not at bonsai stage um this is just the uh, the pre-bonsai look the thing i'm worried about is the bottom of this is grafted so it's grafted onto a normal acer palmatum rootstock which is a stronger rootstock for growing um fancier maples like bloodgood and jordan and Sangu Kaku. Um, but what I am concerned about is these that have popped here. Have they popped from the rootstock, or from the from the nice the nice trees? You can see, and I'm not sure if you can see here. Yeah, you can a little bit. Um, I think this here is Japanese maple rootstock, and I think the green bit is the nice um, Sangu Kaku tree. So I'm thinking, are these, <coughs> excuse me, are these branches Acer Palmatum? Um, there's a little bit of redness in, in here, but I think they're so young, I just can't tell. Now up here, we might have some um, something positive going on, but all I've done is I've cut it back and I've taken the tops out because I thought, right, the energy is going into these and they're going absolutely crazy. So if I cut them back like that, um, I'm not sure if you see that, cut that back. 
just cut the end out. Um, it's got nowhere to go, so the sap's going to go back down the trunk and find some more nodes and start popping elsewhere, which is exactly what it's done. So <clears throat> I'm going to leave this. I'm going to leave it over the winter. The leaves will go. Um, the leaves will come off, and um, it'll go dormant. And uh, I'll just keep it the soil moist, and we'll see what pops in the new year. I mean, the trunk's pretty pretty nice. Um, if I clear some of this away, let's see what we've got. It's got quite a nice root spread. I'm quite pleased with that. That's pretty wide. Um, but as I said, it's not there yet. But that's fine. We've got something to work with here. <clears throat> so that's getting on a bit. Um, I'm not sure what the back looks like. I'm, I'm thinking this is the back, but I'm not sure. I don't think there's a front or a back at this point. Um, I think we just work on it. And um, it's looking all right. I think all this is a bit of a clean up. You'll see some of that root spread a bit better. And, um, the, the, you know, the more I dig, the more I'm getting excited. So that looks pretty good. I don't know what that is. Four, five inches. Pretty big. Um, so I'm going to leave it. Obviously, this is some of this is going to die back at some point. I've put some um, sealer on it just to make sure, you know, it doesn't start dying back even further. That was what I was really worried about. But um, I'll get the Dremel out at some point and have a little go at that. I've never done carving. So that'll be a first. That'll be one to watch. You can laugh, laugh your heads off at me. But um, it's 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 a first go, and I'm hoping I've saved the tree because I think if I hadn't have cut it, it would have just died back and back and back, and I'd have had nothing left. So um, yeah, that's That's uh, that's my effort at a trunk chop that I didn't even know I was doing, but um, it's happened. So um, I'm going to leave this now. I'm not going to mess about with it anymore. We'll see what happens. It's not too high. I would say 25 centimetres. So um, I've got a bit to um, play with. So that's it. I just wanted to give you an update. I know it's a quick one. Um, and I wasn't expecting this to happen, but um, it has, and I'm pleased. So that's it. If you've got any comments or you want to share any information, um, that would really help. And um, that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching. Cheerio.